Now that we have a preview of the data, we understand what we're querying and what our returns are and what our custom measures return as well as what the measures that uh, the information map calculated measures have. At this point we're going to minimize this section of the data report and begin laying out uh, the report itself. We have various objects that we can add to the report, including a list, a crosstab, various graphs, and text and images, and store processes. We can then choose whether these are independent or synchronized, meaning if you drill down on one item, it will uh, link to the others and drill those down as well. For each one of these objects, you have the ability to um, add which data items are available for display. And you can click on those uh, one or more items to move to hidden, which actually removes it from a list data table, or change the order, which we can move items down. Or if we'd like, we can select multiple items and move them up. There is no click and drag capability in this window. The next icon allows you to modify the report layout, including uh, conditional highlighting and report linking, or uh, filtering that data or adding subtotals or, or column totals. Table properties allow you to must the headings, the cells, uh, the formats. At this point you can also change your to a crosstab table. and very quickly view the report. While you're in this mode, you can go back and immediately edit this. while still in edit mode. You can modify the layout of the columns by clicking and dragging. We'll now, we'll now go back to edit report and discuss advanced report layout options. With this, you can add additional text concerning your analytics. We can add additional columns and additional rows. To increase the available real estate on the page, we can also highlight and remove these. It's also important to note that you can merge columns together.
The group break option allows you to um, dynamic. However, it might make more sense to create multiple sections instead of group breaks. So we'll remove these group breaks. Rename this section. and add a new section. You'll note this gives you the flexibility to create similar reports with different outputs. At this point, you have a report that is interesting and you'd like to save it for yourself. You click Report and Save. And you have the ability to save this in a shared folder for others to utilize or in your own personal folder for uh, reuse by yourself. You can then choose whether this is a manually refreshed report or automatically refreshed. Also, you could choose to create a template off of this and allow others to uh, generate their own reports. The other interesting item uh, or item of note is to make this read only, which allows uh, other people to have the ability to see this in the shared folders location, but they're unable to edit that. And it's nice to have automatically replace if you're, if you're finding that you're replacing a report that's already out there. The description and keywords items are um, useful for searching through reports that are available from uh, other SAS uh, business intelligence products such as Information Delivery Portal. And now you have your report product by region that's saved out on the server. I can log off and log back in as another user that only has view access and immediately see this report has just been created by another user and I do not have permission to edit that report but I can open it for use and review.